Now we're going to talk about a project we haven't heard about in a little while, but it is back and it is incorporating AI. So WorldCoin has released its first major consumer product, and it will help you prove you're human in the age of AI. WorldCoin co-founder Sam Altman is also the co-founder of OpenAI, and he's brought the two together with World App. So this is WorldCoin's crypto wallet. It's built on Polygon. If you don't have a World ID, the wallet works like any other wallet, but it's stripped down. That's what Altman says. But if you do have World ID, the app is supposed to serve as some kind of digital passport, giving humans access to apps and services gated to World ID holders. World ID holders are the people who have had their retinas scanned by one of those WorldCoin orbs. So a lot to unpack here, but Zach, I know that you've been following this, this story um, and you always have a hot take when we talk about WorldCoin. So what do you got? Yo, that AI takeover makes staring into the orb for those sweet, sweet tokens a lot less scary now, doesn't it, all you WorldCoin haters out there? I'm, well, I'm going to look right in there, get my coins, because the AI is not taking me. It's going to know that I'm real, and it's not going to be able to Sybil attack that system because it's on my retinas, y'all. So anyway, yeah, this is funny that it comes back into the uh, sort of the headlines in combination with Sam Altman's arguably far more impactful creation. We see a lot of chatter on AI right now, not just in crypto, but in the world writ large. So the idea that sort of WorldCoin can be an in answer and in conversation with this AI stuff, I think is super interesting and was obviously underlooked in early coverage of what WorldCoin can be. Now, does that mean that you're going to want to stare into the orb and you're going to want to maybe deal with some reportedly dicey security practices around that? That's for everyone to decide on the on the on their own. But I think it's really fascinating that these two things are now in conversation with each other beyond just having a shared co-founder. Whether or not people are going to end up turning to this thing and whether or not it becomes that passport in, a, in an increasingly weird online future, obviously time's going to tell. But these two things should be seen in concert. And I think this is the first sort of smart marketing step by WorldCoin to link the two projects. But hey, it's just me. Will, what do you think? Wow, I was waiting for like the grumpy man yell at cloud. I do it all. From Zach, I do it all. But... Zach I do it all. Just took a total one eighty. Yeah, I just yeah. broke my ankles <laughs> right there. I was not ready for that. To, like, embracing <laughs> innovation. <laughs> Zach got me on skates this morning. Uh, yeah, no. Hey, AI, crypto. There's even AI crypto tokens at this point. We got it all for you guys. If you're watching the show, there's a lot going on out there. This project in particular, like the intersection sort of makes sense, right? And they've they sort of rolled out WorldCoin first before we really knew what OpenAI and ChatGB3 was going to do. And once that popped off and got so many users so quickly, faster than really any sort of app in history to date, it made sense to pair them together. Beforehand, WorldCoin was just like, this very like 1984 esque New World Order sort of gadget that nobody wanted to have, look at, or be a part of. It got roasted on crypto Twitter uh, endlessly and for good reason. But now the world coin, you know, shills, if you will, they're looking kind of smart, right? Because we do need some sort of like way to fix this if AI continues to start eating up uh, software the way it is, if it's able to continue to replicate human interaction so well in an increasingly digital world, you're going to need some sort of proof to be able to prove that you are in fact human. And that's why the idea of cryptographic keys, your public and your private key have sort of been a big deal. Uh, one very simplistic use case of this, for instance, is like when you're logging into a website and you use like your Google login or your Facebook login. What if we use Ethereum login instead? Well, this sort of solves the same problem, right? Like if I want to prove that I'm not an AI bot, well, maybe I just use my proof from my WorldCoin orb scan. It's a thing. Jen, over to you. I think what you're both saying is right, but it doesn't change the fact that you need to get your retinas scanned. No, I don't, I don't like how that. <laughs> you don't like it, right? I ran into one of these orbs at Ethan Y, I, I told you, and they tried to scan my retinas and I was like, ah, running away. Um, but I want to get our audience caught up on what WorldCoin is just in case this is the first time you're hearing about it. So WorldCoin has this orb that looks like a basketball and they're going around to different areas uh, globally to scan people's retinas and then provide them the native token to WorldCoin to kind of introduce this universal basic income idea to all kinds of different geographies. There have been a, a few scandals that have popped up uh, in association with WorldCoin when it comes to, you know, how they are recruiting and compensating people in different areas of the world. Um, and 
and now it seems like they have pivoted with their messaging to leverage the the like hype around AI. So I'm curious if they're going to be able to address some of those things that came up, address some of the concerns around privacy, or if they're just going to go all in on the AI uh, narrative moving forward. I guess we'll see. Zach? Yeah, you think of AI and like blockchain. I was I always thought it would be like establishing digital provenance, right? Like blockchains are really good at like logging things that are like digitally unique. But like human provenance may actually be an important thing that we're going to have to deal with in mm-hmm. this AI future, right? So we've all, we've long heard about decentralized ID as being a big part of blockchain technology. None of it has really clicked just yet. But obviously, there may be a future in which establishing human provenance mm-hmm. could be something that blockchain could ultimately solve for. And I think obviously sort of hitching a narrative wagon at least to that conversation by WorldCoin makes sense, uh, especially given the shared founder situation. But hey, I don't know. Let's leave this one here and let's go find the orb. You guys want to stare into an orb with me one day? Mm, yes. I think we've ended every WorldCoin segment like that. Let's go Dude, find I, the orb. We need <laughs> to find the orb. This so shiny orb. I'm still looking. I can't believe you turned it down, Jen. 